Hello, I'm Joe Scrabbles, IGN's UK news editor, and I'm here to talk to you about the Mario Minecraft mashup. Now, you may have seen the, well, let's not call it a skin pack, let's call it a full refresh of Minecraft for Wii U that's a uh, collaboration between 4J Studios, who handle the console ports, and Nintendo themselves. And what you'll see is a Mario-themed full version of Minecraft, including character skins, every single texture has been redone, you'll see blocks and clouds and all tiny references that you'll notice from Mario games. But hidden amongst those references are some very specific easter eggs that hark back to Mario games of old. Let's go through a few of them now. First up, let's go for the biggie. Peach's Castle from Super Mario 64. You can exit this warp pipe, walk up to it, and you'll see the Vista from the opening to Super Mario 64, the 3D game that changed everything. And even when you walk inside, you'll see that the front hall is preserved exactly as your childhood fantasies remember it. Looking back a little further, you may notice that the textures on the ground have a slightly let's say, unnatural feel to them. And the reason for that is that if you enter creative mode and fly high up in the air, you might recognize that the floor patterns correspond to what looks like the Super Mario Bros. 3 map. Now those last two were big gestures that you can understand, but there's one small detail that harks back to an oft-forgotten entry in the Mario franchise, Super Mario Sunshine. Hanging behind everything is the Super Mario Sunshine Sun from the title screen of that game. It's a little detail that will mean a lot to fans of that game, and it shows the level of attention that's been put into this Mario pack. Delving even deeper, the character skins in this game even reference other Mario games. Among the 40 characters, you'll spot Captain Toad, who first appeared in Super Mario 3D World, but then got his own game, and here he is, flying through a mineshaft on his very own minecart, and playing Super Mario Bros. Underground theme, just for fun. Now, airships have been a staple of the series since Super Mario Bros. 3, but the tiny details on this particular airship, which players can reach and explore themselves, even using the cannons, mark it out as Bowser's airship from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. You can tell most because of these sort of big red flares at the back. And of course, no Super Mario references would be complete without something to do with Super Mario World. As you can see, this is a classic ghost house, but surrounding it are the 16-bit sprites of booze from that same game. Now here's one of the sneakiest ones we've spotted. This might look like a giant statue of Luigi, and yes, it is, but if you take a look behind him, that landscape is anything but random. The giant tree on the left and the strange rock formations on the right, when looked at from the right angle, reveal themselves to be a recreation of the press start screen from the Wii U platformer New Super Mario Bros. U. That's a crazy amount of work for something that so few people will notice. This one's a little bit of a stretch, but I'm going with it anyway. Snowballs have appeared in Mario games since Yoshi's Island, but the only time snowballs were a throwable item was in Super Mario 3D World. Look, just let me have this one. I've had to look through tons. And to finish up, let's go all the way back to the start. This might look like a giant statue of a prana plant, and in fact it is, but take a look to the right and you'll spot a retro fire flower from the very first game. And that's it! Have you spotted any other references from the Mario Minecraft mashup? Let us know in the comments. And for more, keep it locked to IGN.